Hello everybody, my name is John, John Smith, and ten years ago we made a talk show about why the people of Britain still has not forgiven Germany for what they did to us during the Second World War. And if it was possible here in 1974 to place a video in a video, then there would certainly be a clickable link right here on the screen to go watch that broadcast. But enough about that. We were taken off the air because the viewers apparently didn't like us. Don't know why. But we're not so easy to get rid of, so here we are, once again, ten years later, with a new talk show titled How to Become a Hippie. Sounds interesting? Well then let's get this show started. Tonight I have two guests with me who are going to be debating each other in what they think is the right ideology for a healthy lifestyle. Is it the hippie lifestyle or is it the strict and uptight lifestyle that is the right one? Let's find out right now. So please welcome onto the stage Eugene Baxter and Harmony Hart. Thank you. Thank you. Welcome to the both of you. Thank you. So let me start with you, Harmony Hart. Why do you think that the hippie lifestyle is the right one? Well, in the community, we like to call it the spiritual lifestyle. Well, fuck me then. Can I swear on the show? No. Alright. The spiritual lifestyle is all about letting go and being free and loving the nature and- Alright, Harmony, that's great. But what do you do in your normal life? What's your job? Well, currently, I'm focusing on living a life free from all bonds. Is that another word for unemployed? If you'd like. But it's not really about work, work, work. It's about finding- But of course you understand why people would be critical of your lifestyle when it's nothing more than an excuse to be a lazy asshole sucking this country dry both mentally and financially. Well, I believe that there is enough hate in the world as it is. We need a society that will look after people's feelings and emotions and- Alright, my producer tells me that it's time for a little commercial break. So stay tuned, because we'll be right back after this. <laughs> Each word you gotta know Won't you with me everywhere I go Each worm, each worm I'm telling you to Each worm, I love you Each worm, I love you Right up and down and up and down On the inchworm from Romper Room Right, welcome back. Now, if you've just tuned in right now, I can tell you that I have two debaters in the studio tonight. One that I've chosen the hippie-loving, marijuana-filled lifestyle, and one who has chosen the right lifestyle. So, Eugene, let me ask you this. What do you think is wrong about this hippie lifestyle? Well, I was brought up with a beating being the right parenting method. I was brought up with real values like getting a family and a stable job. And anybody who dares to think otherwise should be shot! Or at least brought to Auschwitz. Hey, how dare you? That is just not okay, man. Well, you are a good-for-nothing, stinky, filthy Jew! Alright, sorry for the inconvenience. In the meantime, however, we have tabled up our hippie debater and can now therefore continue this debate with a proper tone. Mm, mm, mm. So, Eugene, tell me, what do you do? Well, I work as a journalist for the New York Times. And what is your primal function? Well, I cover all kinds of articles, but right now I'm doing a piece on why every talk show host is on heroin. It's a work in progress, really. Alright, and say, Eugene, what would happen to a talk show host if you were to discover them taking heroin every single lunch break? Well, in that case, I would, of course, report it to the police. Alright, and hypothetically, Eugene, what would a talk show host have to pay you to keep your mouth shut about the internal affairs? Well, at least $1,000. And, Eugene, would you hypothetically be willing to accept a chip? Oh... Right, okay. I've just been informed that, unfortunately, we have run out of time, and therefore must end tonight's broadcast. We look forward to seeing you all again next week for another ep- Right, alright, I've just been informed that, apparently, once again, people hate the show and want to take it off the air. I can hardly see how that's my fault, though. Anyways, cheers and good night. Goodbye. Still haven't forgiven you, Germany, during this lovely September evening in 1964.